Hey YouTube, I'm Kyle. And I'm Pat. And you're watching IMO on ProGizmo HD. To kick off the show today, we've got a story from a new segment we're calling Going Green. The electric car manufacturer Smart is releasing the third generation of the 4.2 line. Smart has decided to get rid of the current 4.2 battery pack and powertrain by Tesla Motors. They're going to be replacing this battery pack with another one from EM Motives. This unit is much more powerful and will step the horsepower of the 4.2 from 37 up to 74 horsepower. The 4.2 will now do 0 to 60 in 13 seconds rather than the previous 23.4 seconds. Joining the 4.2 in these new upgrades is the matching Smart bike. This bike will be able to do 60 miles on a charge, but will run you $4,000. Moving into the world of high stakes takeovers, Google has announced a takeover of Motorola. For some time now, Google has been interested in the patents from Motorola, and as a result, Motorola will now become a dedicated Android partner. Google has announced that the Android operating system will always be open source. With this merger, we may now possibly see a sleek new Google Superphone. Even with all the merger talk, Motorola has managed to release the all new Defy Plus Superphone. This phone is an amped up waterproof version of the Defy, supporting faster processor, the latest updates with Gingerbread 2.3, and a specially designed case, sealing it from debris, sand, and water up to three feet deep. The Defy Plus is being released in Germany at a price of $389. All right, now moving into a section that we call Total Shit. Today we're looking at a USB powered vibrator. On a full charge, the vibrator will run for four hours, run in four different vibration patterns at five different power levels, and is nearly silent in operation. Built completely from silicone and metal, the USB vibrator vibrator is waterproof up to 10 feet. Imagine the awkward moment when you ask a friend to transfer data from one computer to another and they pull out this small pink vibrator. No thanks. While these small USB devices only come in 8 and 16 gig models, they are priced in the higher end of USB sex toys. So weird. The 8 gigabyte model will run you at $190, but for the low, low price of $250, you can get the gold-plated 16 gigabyte Lux edition. If a $250 gold-plated USB vibrator doesn't float your boat, seven lucky people will get a chance to spend a budget-busting $825,000 for a two-way flight and a mere $165,000 to stay for five nights at the Commercial Space Station in 2016. The Russian company Orbital Technologies has announced the plans to create the Commercial Space Station. These seven lucky passengers will have a chance to spend 120 hours of their life floating just 62 miles from the International Space Station in a small capsule. But when you really look at it, a million dollars is a small price to pay to look into blackness for five days and feel slightly sick the entire time. Now the millionaires in the audience may not worry about this story, but those of us without seven figures in the bank tend to be fairly protective of our money. A new technology has been revealed that allows a thermal camera to be pointed at a recently used ATM keypad. The thermal camera detects heat signatures from the human finger once pressed onto the keypad. These images will then be analyzed to show the heat signatures on each individual key. An image taken 10 seconds after use will yield an 80% success rate of getting the proper password. Even after 45 seconds, a 60% success rate is still possible. Now, metal keys tend to wick away the heat better and therefore are not as vulnerable to this attack. Plastic holds onto the heat to the extent of allowing the order of the key presses to be extracted. Now, obviously, the equipment required to perform this attack is very expensive, but the process is fairly simple. And finally, our last segment called It seemed like a good idea. Sprinting of up to speeds of 7 miles per hour, Mabel, the running robot, could soon be after your children. With human-like weight distribution, a heavier torso and legs with springs like human tendons, this technology can mimic our ability to run and climb over obstacles. <laughs> Only time will tell how and where this technology will be used. It seemed like a good idea. All right, that's all for this week's episode of IMO. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week. See you later, guys.